glad you joined me. Uh, what we're going to talk about uh, eventually is a painting I did titled Bound to Glory. It was uh, painted in 1998 with moldy canvas, rejected Home Depot exterior house paint, uh, frame with a $10 garage sale frame. I was on my way to run a big crane. I'm a professional tower crane operator. On the way there, I had a few things happen that convinced me that I needed to quit the job and use a gift I was born with, and that's painting. I had lost that gift years before. And anyway, uh, I actually believe that there's the three things that happened. I was to quit the job, so I go on this job. And uh, within maybe 10, 15 minutes, I quit. Told the gentleman I had something else I needed to do. I wasn't really supposed to be there that day. And I said, thank you for the job, but goodbye. And I was out of I uh, didn't have any money for materials. So I went back to my place. It was, it was a little island somewhere between the mainland and paradise. So I go back over there and I found this material and I put it together and I started painting what I thought would be a blue sky with maybe an eagle in it small eagle and some clouds but as soon as i put the paint on before i can finish washing the brushes out the paint turned almost black it was witnessed by other people the guy who owned the property the efficiency i was living in right under his main part of the house was a retired chemist and he said he's never seen anything like it well this color change changed the whole course in the painting and whereas years before when I painted, like 15, 20 years before, it would take me three, four months to do a painting, research, practice, drawings, sketches, and that sort of thing. But uh, because I just wanted to get a painting created to make one print, uh, I, I had it almost done in two days, about maybe 90% complete. And I changed my complete way of painting. Instead of me controlling the painting, I allowed the Lord to take over. And uh, second day of, into this painting, uh, with hopes of selling it for a higher price than maybe a print, I, I didn't hear a voice, but it was like a voice, but it was a very strong in my spirit thought. This is not to be sold. It's meant for a president's eyes to see and it's going to hang in the White House. Now, when that happened, I thought, Wow, I was very humbled, but I believed it. And uh, we're going to talk about that. I will go through the details of the story at some point. I'm just trying to put together an introduction right now. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to figure out how to get this message out to America. And uh, you're welcome to join me. Thank you so very much. Have a great day.